the question we are going to deal with is find the longest common subsequence of two strings x 1 to m and y 1 to n okay so it means that we are given two strings of different lengths let it be m and n and we have to find if they have any common subsequence so let's take one example so here we have a string x a p b c a d c q e r so its length is 10 and we have r a s b t a u c v e so now we have to find out the longest common subsequence so what it means it means a subsequence it, it not need to be contiguous or continuous so let's see so we have here if we see a b so a then b then a c E. so this is a subsequence a b a c e and we can find it here also a b a c e so this the both strings have this as the longest common subsequence is there any more subsequence that we can find smaller subsequence we can also say a b a is a smaller subsequence but the largest is a b a c e and this longest common subsequence is useful in lot of scientific communities so one thing to note is lcs is different from longest common subsequence or subarray which is contiguous so here it is not necessary that these this subsequence the letters in that are consecutive so here for longest common substring let's say so this is bracket and this is NAC so here so ACK so this is the sub array and here also there is a sub array so these two are sub arrays which are common and it is the longest also but again this is not a longest common same as longest common subsequence so how to solve the LCS problem how will we solve this thing anything any combinatorial problem we can solve by brute force okay x1 to m how many subsequence can you make so we can make 2 to the power of m subsequence from the set theory we will choose we can choose so many subsets and similarly from y we can choose 2 to the power of n subsets or subsequences and then we can match them and whichever subsequences are equal and among them whichever has the longest length we find that as the longest common subsequence but the complexity of this algorithm is exponential and that's not very good from efficiency point of view so what's next in algorithm the question is again always can we do better can we do better and answer is yes we can use dynamic programming to perform better so let's look why we can use dynamic programming we can use dynamic programming because it follows some kind of optimal substructure so what it means that if i am asked to find the longest common subsequence and then we can construct if we know the longest common subsequence for let's say half of the string of both then we can construct from there we can construct the solution for even lengthier arrays okay so something like that and overlapping sub problem is also there because it will be following kind of 
recursion. So let's see how it happens here. So let's represent LCS longest common subsequence i comma j is equal to length of the longest common subsequence of the array x1 to i. So the array length is m but we are only considering till the length i and y I am considering till length j. So LCS i comma j means I am finding the longest common subsequence from x1 to i and y1 to j. So let this is the representation and definition. So one thing we can say that okay if I am not taking any element from x then the longest common subsequence is naturally 0 for all j. LCS of i comma 0 is equal to 0 for all i because again means I am taking any length array from L from x but I am not taking any length from y so it will be 0. So now what happens is LCS i comma j now we write so let's see so it be a b a a c a okay so here the longest common subsequence is a a so now how we do i'm pointer is here one pointer is here and i say lcs i comma j which is 3 comma 3 is 1 plus lcs i minus 1 comma j minus 1 if x of i is y of j so here both of them are same so at least i have got now the length of common subsequence is 1 plus the length of common subsequence of x1 to 2 and y1 to 2. So, it, so that's why we say that okay it is following optimal substructure property. Okay. So now let's see but if xi is not equal to yj so let's come here and I see that okay these two are not same. So I cannot form a subsequence here. So what I do, LCS i comma j is I will now search this one. I will take as common and I will try to search in the left part of the sub of this array x. Or otherwise, what I will do is I will try to find the LCS taking this one and trying to search for b in this part of the second array. So this is the recursive that equation that is given. And what happens is this is the optimal substructure and overlapping sub problem because there are a lot of overlapping sub problems if we see. So this way we find the recursive equation and we will see that. So now we have to construct the code. So what we do is we do in dynamic programming bottom up construction so we do a bottom up construction and we try to solve the question from smaller sub problems and construct the higher sub problem from that so before going to the or let's see the code so what i do so we see that we have to find we have to construct a matrix lcs i comma j so if the length is m of x and n for y so i will call i have to find lcs m comma n but this is the largest problem to solve this i will have to solve smaller sub problems like lcs let's say 2 comma 3 lcs 3 comma 4 something like that and we have to solve all those problems and we will go in a bottom up fashion so that we don't have to solve the same question sub problem again and again which says about the overlapping sub problem. So what happens here? So we will be constructing a matrix or two dimensional array of size m cross n m plus 1 cross n plus 1 because we are taking zero element also from them so it will be initialization will be like we told this formula lcs 0 comma j is 0 lcs i comma 0 is 0 
so we try to do it in these two parts of the code and then what we do for int i is equal to 1 to m and int j is equal to 1 to n so what we do if x i is equal to y j then what we do lcs i j is equal to 1 plus lcs i minus 1 j minus 1 and as we see we are going from in the 2d array we are first going from left to right and then we are going from top to bottom so it means i am increasing j keeping i as constant and then i am increasing i also in this direction so when i try to calculate lcs i j i already know lcs i minus 1 j minus 1 or otherwise if x i is not equal to y j so what i do lcs i j is max so max is a function which returns max of lcs i minus 1 comma j which is already calculate when calculated when i'm calculating lcs i j and lcs i comma j minus 1 so both of these are already known so this way i'm able to construct my table and my final solution will be x of m y of n so this is the so l c s m comma n is my length of the longest common subsequence and we see from here that it takes just o of m n isn't it it takes this amount of this is the complexity okay and so let's see so we will take one example so our x is a b a c e b and y is a d b a v c e b so this length of this is 6 and this is 8 okay so m is 6 and n is equal to 8 and i have already calculated the 2d array using my code and let's see first so what i was telling is first this is lcs so this is the zeroth column so this is 0 comma any j we see that it will be 0 because if the length of first array is 0 so there will be no common subsequence similarly lcs i comma 0 is all zeros and next what we do after initialization i try to solve this sub array and how we do this is so we have so let's try to calculate one of the values let's say we try to calculate this one so this is lcs so 5 comma 7 okay so we try to calculate lcs 5 comma 7 and what happens so lcs 5 comma 7 so what is 5 in x so this one is 5 and lcs for y y7 is this one so we see that x5 is equal to y of 7 and hence what we do we make l c s 5 comma 7 is equal to 1 plus l c s so this will be i minus 1 so 4 comma 6 so 4 comma 6 if we see so it is diagonally this one so this is 4 comma 6 so it will become 1 plus 4 and that's why the value is 5 and let's see some other place where what happens so let's see one more example let's try to calculate this one so we have here lcs of 3 comma 5 so here what happens 3 comma 5 so 3 is this one 5 is this one so x3 is not equal to y5 so what we do we now try to find max of 
एल सी एस टू कॉमा फाइव एंड एल सी एस थ्री कॉमा फोर सो एल सी एस टू कॉमा फाइव इज दिस वन एंड एल सी एस थ्री कॉमा फोर इज दिस वन सो विच एवर इज मैक्सिमम सो थ्री इज द मैक्सिमम एंड हेंस दिस वैल्यू एल सी एस थ्री कॉमा फाइव इज थ्री सो दैट्स हाउ वी कैलकुलेट एंड आफ्टर डूइंग गोइंग फ्रॉम left to right and top to bottom so we see that finally we have lcs 6,8 is equal to 6 which is the longest common subsequence so here we see a b a c e b is there present all a b a c e b so that's why the length of longest common subsequence is 6 here and that's the code here so i hope you understand the code and if you like this video so please subscribe to my youtube channel and keep watching the videos thanks a lot